Welcome everybody. This time we talk about a formula or a trick which allows you to multiply uh, 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 using a simple trick. So if you are thinking of multiplying certain number of times, do not apply this old traditional trick where you have to put in the same number a couple of times. No, although it will give you the answer, but this is rather tedious. Rather than using this trick, I would ask you to put that digit 5 put shift 6 in place that will give the caret sign which is to the power sign as per excel and then put the digit 4 so 5 to the power 4 is 625 the same thing can also be achieved using a formula although people rarely use this but they may write the formula power which asks for number and then asks for the power component that means to the power what 4 625 where is this used? Quite often in the area of corporate finance and valuation where compounding, discounting, annuity, all these are very normal calculations. So in this case, I have certain cash invested in a certain project. Let's say today, $5,000. The rate of return that I'm expecting is 10%. And I wish to find out that at the end of year one, at the end of year two, or year three, or year four, or year five, how much money would I be left with if I keep the money invested? So I'm choosing equal to equal to formula, choosing the cell containing $5,000, pressing F4 to ensuring it's fixed, locked, multiplied with, within brackets, one plus, plus what? Rate of return being 10%, I fixed that to, then, then comes the trick part, to the power, to the power what? To the power one. So this is the formula which normally finance professionals do apply for compounding. So at the end of year one, 5,000, which is the principal, plus 10% return, return that happens to be 500 all added up and given to you 5500 but then you ask yourself i wish to keep this money invested for another year and let's see how much money would you find at the end of year 2 so the same formula if i copy paste the next cell it says 5500 plus 550 that happens to be how much 6050 so if i copy paste the formula either to the cell drag or to fill option or I may simply choose shift right, right, right and press control. Yes, control R. So I'm able to find out through this to the power sign that the end of year three or year four or five, how much money would I be left with if I keep the money invested? So that was it to the power sign.